We've seen foldable phones, now it's time for rollable phones. Expandable phones? I'm not exactly sure what we're calling this format yet, but it's the first time I've got my hands on a real working version of it. You just swipe here on the power button and the screen goes from 6.7 inches to a 7.4 inch tablet. Like a folding phone, the point is to combine the convenience of a regular size smartphone with the bigger screen of a tablet. So if you're working or watching a movie, you can switch to that bigger screen. And Oppo says it's experimenting with letting the motor stop at any point during the expansion so that the screen can adapt to fit any kind of video. Now I think they've done quite an elegant job of this. You just swipe up on the power button and the phone opens up and swipe down on the power button to close it again. There is a little bit of motor noise which you can hear in a quiet room but I don't think it's too distracting. And obviously I've tried squeezing the phone to force the motor. And when you do that, the motor just kicks in and closes the phone. With flexible phones, people always ask me if there's a crease on the screen. And yes, on this phone, there is a crease on the display where it rolls inside the phone. But just like with the folding phones, when the screen is on and you're using the device, you don't notice the crease at all. And the screen doesn't feel spongy or flexible to type on. It's solid behind there. So it's just like typing on a regular phone. There aren't any scratches on this display from the mechanism, but then it is just a concept phone that I think has been kept very safe and it hasn't been out in the wild, although Oppo says it can open and close more than 100,000 times without breaking. Now because this is just a concept phone and isn't going on sale, some of the key questions about how this would affect battery life I can't answer at the moment. There's also no selfie camera in this model, so where could they squeeze one in? Would it be water resistant and dust resistant like a regular high-end phone? Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 2 is not, and of course how much would it cost? Other companies, including LG and TCL, have teased that they're working on a very similar rollable phone to this, although Oppo is the first company to get a working version in my hands. They say they developed this independently and have applied for lots of patents for the technology inside it. But they're not going to sell it, so I asked the company why they're showing it off. Oppo believes in only bringing products to the market when they meet a really strict uh, product testing process and at the moment we haven't pushed this device through that just yet. It's to show our innovation and our forward thinking into new technologies and just showcasing what the future of a smartphone form factor could actually be in the coming years. It's always exciting to see new formats come to the market, whether it's foldable devices like the Huawei Mate X or something like Microsoft's Surface Duo which is two screens hinged together but they do typically also come with a hefty price tag, far in excess of £1,000. It may be that we don't see many of these out in the wild until the price shrinks.